Hi DF Crew exclamation point. I recently realized that I don't actually know the difference between ray tracing and path tracing. I always assumed based on how path tracing has been presented by DF that it is just a better, more complete version of ray tracing. However, when looking it up, I only became more confused. Path tracing seems to actually be less accurate. Could the DF crew please provide an explainer on this difference and why you usually present it as the more desired option? Have we talked about this recently? Have I missed the explainer? Thank you oh. and keep up the good work. Well, what do you say about that, Alex? Because uh, have I've you been, been gaslighting us? I've been gaslighting so? all of you. <laughs> no, this what they are saying is actually true in the aspect of so path tracing. <clears throat> just is simple. If you shoot a ray to hit something and then you test it and just say like, did I hit that? That's ray tracing. Whatever yep. you do after the fact doesn't really matter. Path tracing is where you shoot a ray and after it hits something, you say, well, actually. How do I inform what anything about the information that I want to gather about this thing that I just hit? Well, then you shoot another ray to gather more information about it. And if you do that iteratively in a, like a, in a random manner, Monte Carlo path tracing, it gets really, you get a really detailed image about all of the lighting that it, from that one pixels perspective. Uh, the reason why, uh, Dennis, that you come to the idea that it looks like a less complete image, it looks worse is because to, for it to be so random and for it to be completely perfect and to get the best image possible, it's like really random and it requires a lot of race to do it. So like the, the if you're looking at a path race, a path traced image takes a lot longer to converge to a good looking image. Uh, and it takes a lot more processing power and whatnot. So that's what you're saying is true. But for in the context of real time, it means more visual you know, goodness, because one, denoisers are a lot better. You have real-time denoisers that are cleaning these things up. We just talked about ray reconstruction recently. Um, but the thing is, like, when you just do, like, a normal ray trace and you don't, you can use, like, how you inform the shading of that pixels that you just ray traced. Sometimes you, like, do another ray trace where you say, like, okay, is this thing in shadow or not? A lot of games do that if they do, if they do ray tracing. So they're doing a slight little bit of path tracing there they're seeing if like the things in shadow after they ray trace it but usually that's about it and the rest of the shading is ridiculously simple path tracing is saying actually i'm going to inform the shading of things that are ray traced by ray tracing again and so that's why in, in, that's why it's so expensive and that's why it's so expensive you're like ray tracing <laughs> again and um that's why in alan wake 2 when you look at a reflection on an opaque surface, you can see the reflections of something else in that opaque surface. Like, it's really, really cool to see inter-reflections, which is something that video games don't just don't have. It's really expensive. Um, and that's why Alamic 2 is really expensive to render with that option turned on. Uh, but we are not gaslighting you. It should usually be better. <laughs> it won't always be the most stable image in comparison to some other technique. Uh, because ray tracing is just sparse and problematic in general, but it'll produce a more accurate image usually.